Hey folks, Lisa here from Call That Girl giving you another quick Outlook tip of the day. Today we're going to talk about and I'm going to show you how to install and configure G-Sync It software. G-Sync It has a nice synchronizing tool that works with your Outlook and your Google Calendar that should synchronize with your Android phone. So the first thing you want to do is, excuse me with the mouse here, go to G-Sync It in Google, go to Fieldston Software, uh, either one of these are fine. It takes you to this page right here and go ahead and download the 32-bit. If it does not allow the 32-bit, it'll tell you and then go download the 64-bit. But anyway, I have it down here ready to go. And we're gonna hit run. And now it says back up your Outlook and Google data before using. So let me show you quickly how to do that in your Outlook. So here you have your calendar, and this is very important that you back this up. So pretend I have a lot of items on my calendar here, which I don't, but let's say I do. You go to File, Open and Export, Open and Export, Export to a File, hit Next, pick CSV, comma separated values. Now go pick your calendar, it's right here. And we're gonna browse, and we're just gonna say Calendar, uh, September 2, Backup. So then you know and then hit OK, and then hit Next, export the calendar, and here you get to pick your dates. If you have a lot of calendar you know, events from years ago, just pick 2000 um, up to 2017 maybe. I'm just gonna pick 2015 because I don't have anything on the calendar. But anyway, it should export everything in your calendar events, then you have a backup, okay? Um, if you something happens with G-Sync and it crashes, then you can go import your calendar back in. You, you might need me if that happens because that can get sticky, but anyway, let's just move along. So here we're gonna click Next because we accept it. Hit Agree, hit Next, and now it's installing the software. And while it gives us a minute here to do that, I do recommend you back up and don't say, eh, I don't need to because if you're using a third-party app, you can never tell what's gonna happen when it exports with the program in your, in your Google Calendar. I've seen a lot of problems happen, so it's just safer to make a backup and take the extra time to do that. Um, because if anything goes wrong, you can clear your calendar and import it back in and you'll be good to go. All right, we're about done. And now we're going to open Outlook, okay. So now, when you open up Outlook, you get the G-Sync It. Now, just for starters, I tell people to use the evaluation version until you know if you like it, and then you can purchase it afterwards. Just to give you a tip, that if you do use the evaluate, excuse me, the evaluation one, um, you only get to use 50 contacts in the initial trial. After that, it'll let you do as many as you have, I believe. So, let's click Use Evaluation, and it says thank you, hit yes. And now it uh, is installing it. You see the little tab up here for the add-ons. At this point, you want to go to sync. Oops, sorry, we don't. <laughs> you want to go to settings. Here we go. Now in here, you're going to pick Google Sync, and let's start with the calendar, okay? And down here, click New. Now here, you have to put in your email. So we're just going to call that girl at Gmail. Dot com and it hits authorize. Now because Gmail and most of Google has two-step authentication, now you have to go log in with your Google account, type in your password. Oh, come on. Why is it not doing it? Of course, when I'm making a video, it doesn't. One second. And I ain't stopping this video for this. Okay. There we go. Now it logs in. This is G-Sync it would like to manage calendars. You hit allow and then yes. So now it sends a little code to Google saying yay, everything's okay. And this G-Sync it is pretty simple to do once it's authorized, but you just need to go pick your calendar now. And I'm gonna pick Call That Girl's Work Schedule because that's what mine was called. And then you have to pick your Outlook calendar, which I only had one. So if you go select it and you have multiple PST files, pick the right calendar. But I only had one, so of course that'll work. And here you have an option for sync, Outlook to Google, vice versa, okay? So if you're on your Android phone all the time and you're not really using your Outlook, you might want to choose Google to Outlook. 
uh, or you can do the vice versa where it's a two-way sync. Hit OK. And then you can hit OK again. Or you can go up to Contacts and go do the same thing. And I think we have to authorize it yet once again because that's a whole new app. So we'll do that. Authorize it real quick. And again, so I have to put in my password again. Oops, I spelled it wrong, of course. Let's see if I can do this right. There we go. Now it's going to say manage contacts. And I hit allow. Okay, so now the Gmail group it's going to pick, you have choices. Okay. Um, I happen to have a ton of different variety of contacts in there from years ago. So just pick all and it should get them all. Down here again is your Outlook contacts. You can select the contacts from your list here in your PST and then go ahead and hit OK. And so now you've done your contacts and your calendar. And at that point, you just hit OK. And then up here, you hit Sync. Now, if you have a lot of data, it'll take a while, and that's OK. Just let it do its thing. The first time Sync, it usually takes you know quite a while. And then um, after that, it should not. Now, if you have it in your tray down here, you'll see the little Sync it happening. And you can change the settings right here for how, yeah, we'll cancel the sync for right now. I want to show it to you. Uh, here, doo -doo -doo, I think it's the sync options down here. You can enable automatic. You can automatically sync when Outlook is changed or when it starts or exits. This is all up to you, but it's in the application settings down here in sync options. And that's kind of it, folks. It's a real simple little tool. It's uh, about $20. So um, this video should be really helpful for you to install it and configure it. It's not hard. Um, I'm not going into the deep parts of the G-Sync it, but this is basics, calendar and contacts. Then of course, when you're done, you do want to do a test. So you go to your calendar and you put a test on your calendar and depends on how often you sync, you know, you can hit the sync button and go see if it's on your Google calendar and then on your Android and it should work. That's it, folks. Pretty simple to set up. If you need my help, I am for hire. Uh, you can reach me at lisa at callthatgirl.biz. You can call me at 612-865-4475. If you like this video, please like it, share it, and subscribe. Thank you.